Hey, Mark. I want to lose everybody. Let's try to stay together here. Let's wait. Stay together. Stay together, guys. Stay together, guys. Stay together. Stay together. This is an election for all. Or are you just not we going to like the election and just... I have this idea. Do you you know your interview. Interview. This is an election for Are they no, throwing you, you out? No, this is election. Are they throwing you out? Or you're no, we're walking out because this is an election for all. Why even vote? Why, why, why vote if they're going to overturn our votes? What's the point? Well, I hear they just took two of the... It's not an election. Two of the... It's a um, fraud! No other way to put it. Election fraud. People mean vote, and then those people get over there. How's that? How's that no election fraud? Point of order. Right. <laughs> Point of order. Let's see them now. Nah, my voice is gone. No, come on. No, come on. You are the you are the voice, my friend. This is election fraud. <laughs> people of Maine have chosen to elect their representatives, and their representatives have been turned away by the RNC, a nine-member panel of the RNC. This is election fraud. Realistically speaking, uh, yes. this walkout. This walkout happens now. What happens? What happens after the walkout? Who knows what happens? I don't know. Uh, what, are you guys going? Are you guys going to go back in? Yes. Or are you done? I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know, we've been disenfranchised. A lot of us were going to support Romney in November. We're we've, been going? Dis we've been disenfranchised. So, what's the difference? What's the difference now between supporting Mitt Romney now or supporting Mitt Romney? You know, had the delegates this evening. Well, I wanted my first choice, to Dr. Ball. That's my first choice. We came here to vote for our first choice. That's all. You know, this was an election. The people of Maine elected us to be there and represent their interests, not the interests of the RNC. They elected us to represent their interests. So you're not going to vote Republican this, in this election? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do. One last question, and it's, and it's about the Native American vote. What do you think Mitt Romney has uh, going for him on the Native American vote? Or do the Native Americans are really... I don't know anything about that. Sorry. I'm, I'm losing my voice, and I don't know anything about it. All that I know is that this is an election fraud. When we won the convention, it was Street Politics 101, and the caucus is all the way through. We brought our team, they brought theirs, we had superior numbers, we won everything that wasn't nailed down, and they couldn't handle that. So they brought the contest, and they got the, they got the result they wanted today. They got it. We went in today with one last final stand to try to amend the credentials report to get us duly seated. From what I'm hearing, if it had gone for a vote, we would have won. But they put the gavel down, they ran Mark the Willis, like he's the incoming do. National they Committee man of the Republican Party for the state of Maine. This convention, we're boycotting it because we held on the whole time. We were the only state that never took a deal. We never compromised. We never took a deal. They tried deal after deal, and we never ever wavered. We never ever wavered on our principles and our integrity. We can go home to Maine now, and with honor, dignity, and respect for all the people back in Maine who elected us at that convention. We have nothing to fear from the people back home. We are going home heroes, and he just made us ten times stronger and more powerful than we were an hour ago. Romney.